Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be going over my uh, La Ferrari tune. Uh, I've been a little he hesitant to make this video, but I'm finally going to do it. Because, uh, you know what, I might as well give away my uh, the best tune, in my opinion, that I have. So, uh, as you can see, 618pp, 1387 uh, uh, Evo. Um, let's go ahead and show you the diagnostic. You'll get to see the nitrous here, but there you go. Um, Alright, uh, this can run a 12.781 uh, half mile with it being 618 pp. Now, that's really good. A max, I mean, not max. Some cars that are max tier 4 cars that are like 670 can't even run this. <clears throat> but, um, this is great in live races. Um, I win probably 80 to 90 percent of the matches until recently when uh, the BR9 Bentley. I'm losing like almost every match to that. I don't know what's up with matchmaking, but anyway, here we go. Uh, nitrous. Oh wait, I gotta show you the upgrades first. Duh. I'm just gonna show you the team without showing you that. All right, <clears throat> now. Okay, so for every part I'm using, I have all the stage. I mean, I have all the fusions for. So. All it is, is basically the minimum of what you can tune it to. So, nitrous 2, uh, tires 3, and uh, transmission 4. And uh, as you can see, I'll prove it here, starting from there, because that's 4, I have all the fusions for that. Starting from the tires 3, got all the fusions there. Nitrous, all the fusions there. Alright, and there's nothing else just to show you on any of the other parts. I don't have this uh, all stage six parts yet, so I'm, that's why I'm at max upgrade. I don't use it for max upgrading. Alright, as so now I let you know um, the parts to use, and I'm going to show you the tune. You want to set your um, uh, nitrous all the way to the right. Um, so there you go. Uh, okay, if you have all the fusions, you're going to have to fiddle with this a little bit if you um, don't have all the fusions like I do. But since I have the max, the best I can do is a 4.99 on the transmission, so they'll all be relatively the same. And then 50, uh, no, 21, 27 and 27 psi on the tires. Uh, I'll give you another diagnostic. Here you go. A half half mile and a 7.2. There's all the stats there. All right, let's give it a test run. And then uh, after this, I'm going to jump into some line races, maybe, and show you what I can do there. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to launching, so I pressed the, the nitrous right when I launched. I'm used to launching for uh, live races. Okay, well, that's it without uh, hitting the nitrous at the turn right time, so that was terrible. Let's go ahead and try that again. I don't even want a notion that it just happened. All right, take two. All right, that was much better. This is gonna be like seven eight. I mean, not seven eight. Twelve eight. Twelve eight. About. I've hit uh, twelve seven a couple times, but it's just really difficult to get. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Twelve eight two two. Okay, so there you go. Um. That's actually a less zero to sixty. Huh. Anyway, all right. So we're gonna jump into some. Uh... All right, so let's go ahead and jump into some live races here. I don't think I have the. Uh... Yeah. All right. Let's uh, challenge any one of these guys. Let's go with this Ferrari. Let's go. Alright. Alright, so that was a pretty good uh launch for me. Let's see. We win. Looks like we're gonna win for sure. You never know the some of these cars can come behind, but pretty insane. 
And we ran 12A3. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. So there you go. Uh, and he ran a 13. Uh, if you're using like the exact setup I'm using, you typically get from like 12.9 to 13.2 is about the average times the opponents run. Except for these BR9s right here. This is just here. Let me see if I can race the BR9 just to show you guys. Okay, well, they're not ready. So um, let's go with one that's probably going to be closer. Let's go with the GT3. But I keep saying GT3. No, it's, it's GT350. I don't know why I keep saying that. All right, let's get racing here. All right. Whoa. I just realized my sound was off. Let's go, buddy. That was another decent launch. Uh, this one, yeah, I think I got this one blocked up. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, so All right, so. That one was pretty good also. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, 12.9. Okay, so see, like I said, most people run 12.9. I mean, between 12.9 and 13.2, but I guess I'm getting a lower ladder of these. Um, here we go. Let's try some of these guys. Oh, he's challenging me. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this. There's something, maybe this car is just really good. Let's check this out. When I, I normally, when I race, I bet, and uh, I almost always lose the bets to these guys. So Let's see if we can win one. Go. It's connections. Right, okay, that was pretty good. I think we're actually going to win this. Alright, so... Maybe not all of them are like that, but I've faced some of those... Those Bentleys that, um... Will just blow past me. I mean, not blow past me, but in the last second. Okay, so that was actually a really good run for me. So, 13.5, so that was really slow. What was his launch? So, he actually didn't have that terrible of a launch, but... Yeah, it's actually really bad. Huh. 13.5 is one of the lower times. So anyway, there you go. All right, so as we go back. All right, hope you enjoyed this tune. I hope this helps you out. What? Okay, I'm being interrupted. Loyalty reward. Hey, I think I already have that part though. I think I'm missing the turbo. Anyway, all right. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment uh, what video you want to see next if you want to see anything. No one ever comments, so uh, let's uh, hope that doesn't change. All right, anyway.